What's up you guys? This is going to be your weekly love energy reading for May the 8th through the 14th, 2017. And for this reading, I will be using the um, Psychic Tarot of the Heart spread. And instead of doing it my usual um, way of doing things, I'm going to kind of do this as a self-focused reading. Okay, so a love focus. Um, pretty much based on self. Okay, I feel like that would be important if I feel guided to do that. So, I'm going to pull three more cards. Okay, so let's see. Okay, a lot of chakras to work on this week. All right, bottom of the deck, we have trust. Okay, so let me move these up so you can see them better. All right, so let's see. So overall energy, you have 12 of observe. Okay, so I've been getting this guidance um, for the last like 24 hours, I want to say. And I've been dealing with it and I never really understood what I was dealing with um, when it comes to my perception of things and my intuition, you know, my mind state what spirit was trying to do but i get it if you notice here there's like different angles it's like the same woman but it's almost like different chakras looks like the throat chakra heart chakra solar plexus sacral um then it's like her is a focus or her higher self is the focus i would say this is your higher self or your highest intellect or awareness or wisdom I feel like what spirit is trying to get us to do this is divinely orchestrated is our usual way of responding to certain things mentally or perceiving things i feel like the that that typical view is old and outdated and does no longer serve you and i feel like that's why it causes a lot of confusion a lot of frustration it's because it's like a, not a lingering but it's like a an alarm system in your in your spirit that's telling you that that doesn't work for you anymore it's it's time for a better way it's like it's urging you to think outside of the box and there's a little bit of uncomfortableness with doing that especially if ways that we've never looked at things come about so for example say um this is just an example that's that's been coming to me to like help make sense of things so say your best friend you guys have a lunch date together or something and they call you and text you telling you they're running late the first reaction and this is the usual reaction is okay when someone texts me that they're running late they're either bsing me they're either going to flake or not show up or they're going to text me and tell me that they're not coming you know and that you know they're being a bad friend or they're just lying to me they just don't want to hang out with me you know all of these things come up in our head that may not necessarily be true, but that's the first reaction. That's usually how we, and it doesn't have to be typically those things. It could be something else like, oh, they always do this, or that's she's always, you know, on some, some BS, or they're probably just going to flake because their kids or their boyfriend or their girlfriend, you know, whatever might come to mind. Spirit's like testing you because your initial thought might have been, which is like stepping out of your comfort zone, could have been, okay no problem I'm just gonna wait but then it's like this nagging feeling that goes no that's not true she's lying she's up to something that's kind of what this is like spirit is trying to get you out of that old negative way of thinking about certain or reacting to certain things in a way because it's not serving you and I feel what essentially what spirit is trying to do is raise your awareness and get you to look at other perceptions and ways of of viewing things and listening to your intuition and your higher self much more because it's like you don't trust it in a sense it's almost like well that's not usually how things go and that sounds like you know that sounds too cake like that's just cake that's too easy or that's just too positive or that's just too good to be true and it's it's like you don't believe in in anything higher or better it's like you're stuck in the box or comfort zone of this is that okay well if he doesn't call me 
when he says he's going to call me in 20 minutes, he must be cheating or he must just be lying or he forgot about me, he doesn't care about me. You know, all these things pop up in your head when necessarily you could say to yourself, well, okay, I know that, you know, they have things to do. You know, they could be stuck in traffic. They can't call me right now. Someone could have called them. Something important could have popped up. Anything could have happened. You know, maybe they had to stop and go to the bathroom. You know, anything could have happened, but we always take it left. And I feel like Spirit is trying to shift you out of that and look at things from different perceptions. The challenge with that is you have 18 of confront. So you got to face the fact that you have some inner issues that, I almost said the F word, <laughs> might as well say it, that fuck with your perception. You look at your loving relationships, whether it be a partner, love interest, whether it be friends, family, it, it's like your past self, your shadow self, your old self. Like It's like subconsciously it's haunting you and it's trying to show you something there in relation to how you view yourself and how you view the relationships. Essentially, how you're viewing things from your current perception relates back to your old self and your past ways, your old reality which is no more and it's like you're trying to make it reflect in the now and it's just not gonna happen you're gonna be caught up in a wall every time like you have to face this okay and you're gonna be a little challenged by that whether you don't know how to do it how to heal it how to address it or it's just like you don't want to deal with it it's like no this is all i believe in or i don't know any other way or this must be truth because it's always this way for me so this must be what it is i don't know anything differently spirit wants you to confront this shadow aspect so that you can put it to rest you're being encouraged um with your third eye chakra i feel like to work on it okay you need to work on your third eye chakra so that you're able to see things from your higher perspective, from your higher self, from true wisdom, not from your lower self or your fearful or your past, your your past mistakes or what you perceive to be mistakes or failures or heartaches and someone else's, you know, um, drama or failure that you've had with someone else or you know what someone did to you in the past I feel like you need to work on this so it helps build your awareness it supports that shifting that that's happening for you that spirit's trying to get you to okay so where your focus um that that's going to help you is the heart chakra and I feel like you could also benefit from working on this or meditating on your heart chakra but Focusing on your heart center and what's in your heart and what feels true to you, what feels essentially home to you, meaning what brings you the most peace, what feels like settled and not like frantic and fearful and pain and anger and distress and that's not your heart. That's just some wacky stuff that's not your heart space spirits telling you to focus on pure authentic emotion even if say you do have some anger address it why it doesn't make me feel good okay so why where is that coming from why am i angry why am i scared why am i jealous or why am i whatever it is address it because it's like you have to put yourself back in, in line and tell yourself, no, I want to be in the best vibration, okay? I'm not going to deny the fact that I have an anger or that I'm afraid or that something isn't right. Address it. See why that is. But your ultimate goal must to be always aware of what's in your heart being from a, a pure authentic place of love coming from a place of love not looking at everything from a faulty perception an imperfect displaced perception especially within yourself you have to have compassion for where you are what you've had to go through and forgive yourself and forgive those that may have took part in some type of heartache disappointment 
If there's misunderstandings, try to go within your heart to understand that person and where they're coming from. To find that stability within your emotions. Because nine times out of ten, when you're wacky all over the place and your emotions are up and down, it doesn't make sense. It's usually your your fears coming up and you need to address them rather than ignore them because all they're going to do is fester. They're going to come back again. Okay. Um, the outcome you have this week with your love life, whether it be romantic or others in your life that you love and care about, you have five of challenging times, which is a spiritual energy. So I feel like this with the number five, there's a, a major shift. Okay. Because you have your guard up. Your, your higher self is trying to send you information or it's helping you get information and you're blocking it. You're blocking your third eye, your crown chakra. It's blocked. It's inactive. Um, you're blocking your blessings, most of you. You're closing yourself away okay, from love, from healing, from a new beginning. And you're wondering why things are so challenging over and over and over again. It's because you're not trusting yourself. You're not allowing yourself to move forward. Okay. But I feel like you'll get to a space where you're going to shift out of this. Whatever you're being challenged by currently, it's going to shift. With the um, bottom of the deck, you have the trust card, which is also a major arcana. And I feel like the shadow energy is for spirits. It's trying to put you in a, a space to trust yourself, to trust the situation, trust where you're going, where you're headed, where you're being called. Okay, where is your heart pulling you? Where is it calling you to trust in that? And not waver in faith, but leap, trust, take the risk. Okay, and the risk could just very well be to trust in your new perception. It's like, well, I don't know that. I don't know if I can trust in that because all I've known is this. This is all I believed or known to be true. Or this is what I've always experienced. So why should I trust this? Because it's totally different. It sounds like a fairy tale. It doesn't sound real. So why should I trust it? And that's where you confront the shadow again and again. But your higher self, spirit, your angels, your guides, they're trying to encourage you and empower you to trust in yourself and trust in the calling of your heart. Your, your new perceptions, your new life, your visions, your, your insights, your dreams, your goals. Okay, so that's your reading, you guys. Um, I hope that, that resonates with you this week. It gives you some insight and clarity. And as always, I'm sending you much love, much light. And until next week, peace.